So Jason, you think you'd like to be a football manager, yeah? Well, before you commit yourself to it, let me ask you 11 questions. And I want you to think about each one of them seriously. Really seriously. Okay? So, number one. Do you know who you are? Um, do you know your strengths? Do you know your weaknesses? And can you live with that person? Because it is a very solitary life. You're going to spend a lot of time with that person. Two, are you open-minded? And are you willing to change where change is necessary? Three, is football really an obsession for you? I mean, really an obsession? Does it dominate your life? Four, because if it does, then you're going to have to commit the rest of your life to it. And I mean 24-7. Five, do you know what you really value? Do you know what you really believe in? Because those two questions are going to be the bedrock of everything you do from here on in. Six, think about the future. As I speak, do you know where you think you want to go? Do you know, can you see how you're going to get there on that journey? Seven, and this is a critical one, a really critical one. Can you, one way or another, change how people think? More than that, can you change what they believe? Because if you can, you can change how they behave. If you can't, then don't even think about going into football management. It's, it, if you do and you fancy it, it's going to take you 10,000 hours of practice and serious study before you become proficient. Unless, and I could be wrong, you're the genius that's not ever been seen in a football manager's chair before. Ninth one, and you really need to give serious thought to this. In this job, surviving's an achievement. Can you cope with that? Not everybody is going to be one of the 20 Galacticos that there are around every 10 years. For the rest, it's about survival and looking ahead to where you're sat in a chair thinking about what you've done over the last 25 years. You've got to be really, really proud to say, I was a manager for those 25 years. And that should be enough in itself. Problems are going to be part of your life. So this tenth one, again, is important. Do you enjoy them? Do you enjoy dealing with them? When you wake up in the morning to the time you go to bed at night, that day is going to be full of problems. So problems <laughs> have not got to be a problem for you. And finally, number 11, and again the critical one, do you really like working with people or is it the job that you fancy? Because if you don't like working with people, then it's not the job for you because this is a people job. Your biggest weapon is your ability to influence people and you will not do that unless you are prepared to develop relationships with them. So, 11 questions, 11 big questions and for me the answer to everyone has got to be yes and I mean yes after a lot of serious thought because if it's not I'm afraid you're going to have a lot of pain and probably 
mostly disappointment. Okay, sorry I couldn't make it any easier, but um, I really think that uh, you can save yourself a lot of time and trouble if you just ponder on those um, for the next day or so.